So Invictus Launch Week is here and this event basically marks the end of my first year in Star Citizen. There will be a kind of review of a year's experience coming soon as this has been requested a lot. But for now I will be heading down to Orison on Crusader to take part in the festivities. Orison has seen a few new locations added this patch and one of them is the Vision Center, similar to the Expo Center we've seen in New Babbage for IAE. This time it is a new platform of Orison we can reach by shuttle and I admit that given this is my first Invictus event, I was very excited to go take a look around. I'd be meeting up with fellow skunks as we waited for the halls to open, and together we'd enjoy the ships on display from the Anvil exhibit. Invictus Launch Week is very much a UE Navy event, and the watch colour for the day is clearly blue. As I admired the livery of the hall, I was reminded pleasantly of IAE. I'm gonna buy a t-shirt because that's what you do, isn't it? Buy a t-shirt. Get a souvenir. It felt like kind of like a, just a little novel fun moment when I did it at IAE. But then today when I was getting clothes and stuff to come here, I looked back and I was like, oh, the IAE t-shirts, you know, it's cool. It's got the year on it and everything. And the first skunk I'd bump into down here was fellow Task Force Alpha member, Quantum Bacon. What is this, Katie? Am I invisible to you, or are you just ignoring me? Well, are you well, I, well, where, is that you in the white? Yes! In the <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. You, you look like you're about to go, like, jogging. I know. It's my yuppie jogging outfit. <laughs> You know what? It's stylish in its own way. I need a gold chain. Way, which is the polite way of saying, what the fuck are you wearing? We were actually a little early for the launch of the event, and so we'd spend some time with the other citizens gathering at the elevators. You kind of see all sorts at these events, and while many prefer to go casual, many still choose to wear armour for this. Oh, here we go. Ball's open. Did the sale just started? Maybe. Um... Remember, Invictus is an opportunity to celebrate those who are about to embark on their journey in the UEE Navy. Be sure to congratulate any new recruits you see. As I said, this is a UEE Navy event, so enlistment booths can be found throughout. But we were really here to see the display of the day. My favourite manufacturer, Anvil. In particular, there was a new anvil ship in concept I was eager to see the hollow viewer for, the Legionnaire. This is the one I wanted to see, now this is, this is, yeah. Look at that, it does look great, doesn't it? Wow. Katie's trying to get in this thing right now. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a smaller Valkyrie. Okay, so from the back, it really does look like uh, a ship from Elite Dangerous, you know, a certain <laughs> ship. It looks like a mix between the Pelican dropship and uh, a Chieftain from Elite. It's a cool ship. It's very cool. After visiting the display, we decided to go out to the new combat zone platforms to cause some trouble. And given this is ostensibly a combat zone, I would not be standing in the shuttle door as it opened, as well as observing for potential threats before I disembarked. You want to rush quickly under this little roof to provide cover from any rooftop snipers and then head off to one of the sides instead of the main path. You can vault over almost every obstacle on this platform. I mention these things because these areas are combat zones and players should assume there is danger by default. Too many players enter dangerous areas without precautions or without entertaining for a moment they might be killed doing so. In my opinion, you should assume anywhere you go and anyone you encounter in this game as a threat until verified safe. Have a plan in place before you set foot and accept that some days you will die. We've seen it at Jumptown and I'm sure we'll see it here too. 
players negligent of even the most basic precautions, getting killed due to their own carelessness. Ignorance of basic combat and threat assessment is a you problem, my friend. We had a plan to gain crime stats and then fight with bounty hunters coming to collect. There is plenty of cover down there, like it's very detailed, the environment down there. Yeah. I guess people just don't know about this yet, or? Oh, the shuttle's coming to work. Critical Mac was going to demonstrate how staying away from the door as it opens and running inside makes landing a shot in the split second of visibility very hard. But we also need a crime stance, so first I try shooting Critical himself. <laughs> that was an incapacitation shot. Are you guys uh, building up crime stats? Yeah, you want me to accept charges? Go ahead. There's someone on the next hall. I didn't get a CS3, so we'd need to take down at least one civilian. They might patch you up now. Excellent. Stealing gear. Well, he's down to you. <laughs> Who was that? I don't know. They're in civilian clothes, so I don't think they were gonna kill you. I've got crime stats free. Okay, good. And we pull back further onto the platform shortly. In my opinion, the straight sight line right to the shuttle entrance is a little egregious, and just adding a sign or something to block straight line of sight from this rooftop would be a good move. But again, standing in the doorway as the door opens is really just making things easier for the person trying to kill you. You definitely have the vibe. Yep. Are they still in the shuttle? No, they run out. But they took three hits, so... Oh yeah, he's incapacitated. Ah. Critical would finish him off to also gain a crime stat, and then we get moving for a better combat experience. We like a more engaging fight, and sitting on the shuttle stop feels very hollow as an approach. When I arrive here, at one, I'm not standing in the doorway of the shuttle as it opens. I wait for the door to open, I sprint out, and immediately get under the cover of that, like, gazebo thing. And I'm not but, running down the centre path either, I'm taking yeah. one of the edges, vaulting over things and... I mean, should we move back to let people get off? I think, yeah, maybe move to the next building over. See this building over here, critical, where the bar is? See if I can get up on the roof of this one. You guys have a smoking drink out there? The oh. shadow coming in is empty, by the way. Going to prison is preferable to not going to prison in most cases, <laughs> because you keep your new gear. Now, during this time, Critical and the others were posting up chat messages aiming to encourage people to come to the platform here. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to keep those for now. Yeah, you I guys, found here the you should, you should spot. post that you've killed the, the camper, if you will. You've killed. You know, Kill the that way. <laughs> well, no, because they, they will, they can see your bounty, though. <laughs> or that you're incapacitated. That'd be even better. Yeah. So that the, the the sniper at the plat the new platforms is incapacitated. But while we wanted to encourage people to come to the platform, we then saw that the guy we just killed had been encouraged by the news of my incapacitation, and he was coming back to collect his gear, and targeting him again just wouldn't feel right. Regdars had moved his body a little up onto the platform, but we wouldn't attack him unless he attacked one of us. Pyrocles undid an off-grid near the station to keep us informed of incoming shuttles, but all of them were hidden and we would just sit tight, with Critical chatting to the guy via in-game text chat. On the train, He's apparently. On the train. Okay. I think I've found someone. If he leaves when he's got his gear, just let him go. Like, don't grab his gear. <laughs> yeah, because oh, I'm man. definitely with you. Because while it wasn't specifically goading Cacti in, it uh, ended up becoming because of it. So. Or something like that. Shuttle uh, coming in. Someone in a white suit on there. That'd be yeah. Just, yeah, let him grab his gear. He won't have a helmet, obviously, but. <laughs> you, know, it might, you might be a bit salty for that, let's see if he says anything about that. Yeah, and they're wearing a white suit as well, so... <clears throat> but as I said, Regdars had moved his body and was the only person who knew where to find it. 
you had his body, Rick Durs. Do you know where it's at? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. It's at the back here. There's two body. Uh, it's oh. at it's at the entrance of the tower where Offgrid and on the. Why? I saw one I'm... down there. Why, Rick? <laughs> I was trying to bring them to make. Oh, forward. for God's sake! Just you have to you have to explain this. You have to explain that someone moved your body to make it safe for us. <laughs> what happened? I'm meeting in the bush near the bodies. Okay, well, why don't you like track me his body back? Out of kindness. Huh? No. Oh. But our guy would soon find his corpse and was able to recover his gear, except for the helmet Ragdars had stolen. Oh, yeah, he's looting his body right now. Okay. <laughs> cool. So, oh, so he's down there by you, is that right? Yep. Okay. Do I snipe him? No, or no, no. Unless he engages you. Do I, sh do I shoot near him after he geared up? No. <laughs> oh. I, I have his head in the middle of my sniper crosshair. I'm like, I'm 50, I'm 30 meters from him in a bush, lying down. <laughs> I, I think he's confused because he's not finding the L. What, what, what gun does he have? Uh, P4. Okay. I don't have any. Okay, he's running like back. Him. He's running back. Straight through the middle. Oh my god, is his venture is white or is it helmet with the green armor? Oh he stopped moving. Oh, it's so tempted. <laughs> it's hard to see where I am. Oh, he doesn't know how it got 200 well, he's surrounded by raccoon snipers. <laughs> 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 see here. <laughs> the lone wildebeest separated from the herd. Oh, he's on that. He's on the show. There really wasn't much of a bounty in response to our crime stats, so after a short while, we headed out to the third platform to drive PTVs around. There wasn't really a goal in mind here, but one would come to us shortly. Oh, oh there's some. Where? Oh, can't get in, get this one just will not move. Oh. Alright, so you can back it out. Ah. You just can't pull out forward. Okay, good, good little bit of uh, Are we gonna do? police work there. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ah, oh, freedom. This is some Orison driving golf carts. The third of these new platforms is especially big and open, with lots of vehicle routes and even a golf course. Well, you pass me, you know, if you were the driving tester. Oh, hey. I mean, there's a fair few yourself. miners here. And after spotting another shuttle platform, we got an idea. Let's hear it. Here we go then, we go. Take us in. Clever, reversing, clever idea. Oh. <laughs> uh -oh, I think you uh -oh, have to be a little oh, bit more aggressive uh -oh. than that with your reversing. Bouncy, bouncy. You have to, like, you have to, you have to reverse yep. this gusto. There we go. Look at that. Oh, 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 it does not like us. Okay. Can you guys still squeeze in? Yeah, we, we gotta get out, I think. Yeah, we're, I can we're get out. Yeah, there. Dis dismounting. We are moving. <laughs> we are moving. Black market and PTVs. Steal them from the golf course. <laughs> Obviously, these are you know they're hugely profitable PTVs. Regal, based on your experience of driving in here, what are the odds of getting it out? Well, as soon as we got in, uh, we were forcibly moved into this position. <laughs> The next challenge oh, would be oh, getting oh, the PTV oh. off the shuttle at platform one. Here we are. All right, let us get out. Let us get out. Go. Almost. Oh, it's almost like it doesn't have grip on the stairs, right? It looks like you are lined up. Set this up in a way to prevent this. I'm there to prevent you taking PTVs where you ain't supposed to be taking them. I'm not one to give up on things. No, I like your can-do attitude. <laughs> oh, 
forward, yeah, forward, forward. Yeah, I don't forward. think you can reverse up the stairs. I think you can only drive forward on them. I think that what's happened is they have, they know what gamers are like. They've thought this through and they thought they're going to try and move these PCBs where they're not supposed to go. And, well, maybe, maybe you can get it out now. Ever hoped okay. for. We're back to our starting point. That is literally what we started to write. What? It's not really a way you can be more accurate with it because as soon as it hits that point, the black, it gets caught and whoop. It's like you could probably push, get you push, could probably have a bit of random luck on it, but push guys, push. It, was push. So cl- it looked like you were so close there. At this point, we had kind of forgotten we had crime stats at all, but funnily enough, now we'd start to see people coming to collect. Yeah, there's somebody out here crawling around. I don't wait, know if they're hunting you or something. Maybe wait, 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 you see him? Fun and glory, I got him incapacitated now. Oh, okay. Go <laughs> damn quick, you're, you're very good. Oh, there's somebody else here. Regal, you've given an, you've given a, an incredible effort to this project, but I just don't think it's going to come out. If I come up here and try and give you some traction with my own body, maybe if I get thrown in front of the wheels. Can we use this guy's corpse? Maybe better than me lying in front of him. Be safer. Yeah. (laughs) That was nothing personal. Critical didn't mean anything by it, but you definitely should have hit the wrong pie. (laughs) (laughs) He's gonna be so confused. Just to um, fill you in on what we're doing here, um, we can't get this PCV out of the shell. So we're using your body right now as traction for the front wheels. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that was a very heartfelt condolence, was Katie. Very, very heartfelt. Oh yeah, you did say something, chat. <laughs> no, he took his weapons. Critical Mac had disarmed the would-be assassin, so I decided to revive him. Uh, yeah, I have has he got any other weapons? No. Oh, gone now. I've only oh. got the prime start too at this point, so I can't track for him anymore. You ain't got any weapons now, is he? Right? No, I took them all off. Uh, Try dragging them a bit, and then uh, I'm gonna revive him. Ah, okay. Oh. Well, the well that is something to the PC. We decided <laughs> too good right yeah. now. We decided to revive you, but we did take your weapons because. You could be dangerous, you never know. I mean, you don't look dangerous. Your armor doesn't tell me you're dangerous, but you never know. I thought this was only one bounty. This is an army. Ah, uh, don't feel too bad. You're not, you're not the first person who's come chasing me down. So, We're trying to get this PCV out of the hey. shell. We put a PCV in the shell, and now we I can't get it out. A... <laughs> so I just realized I'm on the uh, 10% hydration. Weagle was showing great determination in getting it out, but at a certain point you do just have to accept defeat, and our revived bounty hunter was just standing around observing. I would say call it and we'll blow it up. Just leave it in Aww. the doorway and we'll, we'll end its existence. After. Okay. Just a heads up, okay. it's about to get very loud. <laughs> See? <laughs> you can't hurt the PTV. Oh, it turned off. You can't. <laughs> oh, no. We decided to drug the bounty hunter up to the intoxicated, drunk-like state to prevent him following us. I should nice. drug this guy. Okay. You know what? That's a brilliant idea. Okay. Um. R.I.P. TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's loaded. Oh no! <laughs> too much. A little too much. We're gonna carry him back to Orison. Yeah. <laughs> as close as we can. I'll let him know anyway. I'll let him know. <laughs> Is this just some random dude that you're manhandling? Yeah. 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 He didn't literally come to kill me, so you know. So just to fill you in, we are not gonna kill you. We are going to take you back to Orison where you can't do any more harm. Rest assured, while you are overdosed on drugs right now, you will be perfectly safe. But it seems more bounty hunters come out at night. Yeah. Yeah, you, know, you, should hold, you should hold him over the edge of the platform with the tractor beam. <laughs> Whoa, who's oh. up? Wait, there was someone with no marker pointing a gun at me. Yeah. Right. 
Maybe this is the only thing that comes correct. Ooh, grenades. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, no, you guys are under attack. <laughs> oh. Ow, I just got hit. They were not in the oh, I am not. Target, I, I took him down. Target's down. Oh, good work. Undead. God damn it. Nice, nice. Amazing. Very well done. Undead Iridium, one of our newest members in Alpha, had taken out the threat, and we could proceed with moving our captive towards the hospital. Good reaction times. God damn it. Now, is this dude that we're still that we're moving? Uh, so this is where the grenade launcher guy was, if anyone wants a grenade launcher. He left. Oh, God. Damn, I've got a call. Where's wow. the dude we were, like, tracks me? Or did he die? Uh, I flung him towards the shuttle. Oh, huh. He's probably still over there. Is this him here next to, uh, within the bar and Undead? Um, I shot them on the other side. It could be. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm gonna send him on this shuttle. Yeah. So I revived someone, but... So just to fill you in, we got attacked by someone someone's who has yeah. now been killed. Um, you are perfectly safe. Bye, Katie. Wait. I was doing a bounty for Katie. Fun and Glory was the person you guys just killed. Oh, he came back! Fuck! No, Fun and Glory is like the guy who got on the floor with us, isn't it? Tell him I didn't we are going to take you to the hospital. <laughs> well, we're going to try. It's going to be a bit rare. You throw this stuff off. <laughs> <laughs> at, least, at, least, at, least, at, least, at least he's smiling. There was a hell of a long way to drag someone to the hospital from this rooftop, but in theory at least it was doable. An alpha were identifying the other bounty hunters. Uh, his name's Limitless. Limitless? Yeah, we've got their body in the shuttle at the moment. Oh, looks like they might be starboard. Uh, yeah. Wait, you got him off the shuttle. Nice. Uh oh, Katie, Katie, oh, let yeah. him go, let him go. <laughs> <laughs> Thought security might react this way. Oh, they're dead. Yeah, oh, they're yeah. Sure. I'm not dead then. Oh, my God. I took. Fire for Someone's you right there. Someone's going to get our deeds because I am clearly not welcome. <laughs> I I was the one that you just ran past. I'll be able to drag him. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Are you good? I managed to get okay. my I managed to get my pants quickly. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so, well, because you had a crime stat, didn't you, Katie? Yeah, this is why they're shooting at me. Yeah, I thought they would. Yeah. I, I thought I they might shoot at well. me. Oh, yeah. You you can make it through. They're not like they're not great shots, but a long way to the hospital. Just you know. Maybe we, can, maybe we can get like a one of those hospital trolleys or something. I don't know if that would help, to be honest. Oh, there you go. Oh, I'm just following you. I need a bed. We were determined to get the overdose bounty hunter to the hospital now, and I sent another update on what was happening via text chat. Do I? Oh, oh. He's okay. That guard was unhappy about something. So here's the question. Do I need to do an SAR report for Rufus after dragging this guy around? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can actually start like <laughs> suggesting to this guy that you come over to Skunkworks because we've had this whole crazy adventure with him. Now, I feel like I feel like we know him already. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a fun one. Good thing they shoot me. Oh no, I dropped him. Yeah. I don't see any security. I'm not being shot at, let's put it that way. Approaching next station. If this is your stop, Did you get him in? Cool. Got him. Yeah. So the rest of the team had gotten him back in as I left to deal with my legal situation. But calling a ship was out of the question it seemed, and so I took my punishment from some fairly slow reacting Crusader security in the spaceport. All in all, it had been a very interesting first day of Invictus, and our alpha raccoons had been as mischievous as ever. The display halls are very cool, but also very similar to those at IAE. And so for me, the interest in the event was really around the ship sails and ancillary activities like the javelin tour and Bengal carrier flybys, passing time until the new Nine Tails event opens up on those new platforms. As always, I want to thank all of you at home for watching and to send a huge thank you to all of our amazing patrons, who you can see on screen right now. Patron support is enormously helpful in allowing you the time it takes to edit these videos together, and I am enormously grateful to all of you for the help you give me. If you are thinking of starting Star Citizen yourself, 
Use the referral code in the description below to gain an extra 5,000 credits when signing up for a new account. And we'll be back with more from Invictus very soon.